Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about Jasper.ai art and how you can actually use it for a stock photo alternative, especially for the fact that a lot of times a lot of people use the same stock photos or maybe you have to pay extra for stock photos depending on how many you get. This is just another great use where if you have a website like me where I have uh, websites in a lot of different niches, say one's going to be in sports, I can go there for my stock photography and I'm going to show you how you can do it as well. Jasper Art is pretty simple. I have plenty of videos about it. If you'd like to test it out, I will leave a link in the description for that. So right off the bat, I started with an example of scenic mountain range, just for the fact that I think this is going to be some of the best stock photography. If you're looking for that, this is great. If you wanted to use maybe quotes on it, say like a picture in the background, like I, I used to have a big Instagram account where I'd look for pictures like that, where I can utilize quotes, uh, but that's just an example. Let me do a few more when it comes to that. So whether it's a happy or a sad one, we can go with more of the happier ones so we could say like beach house beautiful day okay something like that let's click on create okay and that's more of a little hut there you got an aspect of it and then once again that's literally right there it almost looks like it's in the water okay let's let's do a different one beach house next to the water okay let's do 4k and let's do realistic after a while, you get an idea of the uh, extras that you can put in there. So for example, if you go to basic, there's the styles, the mediums, the artist and the style, the mood. So I'm just familiar with a lot of those. I do also have a little cheat sheet of those. Uh, if you want those, let me know and I'll put them in the comment section. Let's click on create and see what we get. There we go. Very good. So once again, next to the water, I'm not sure what that is, a little bridge. Good. I love the, uh, this one looks more cartoony. Okay, let's do beach house. Let's change it up a lot. We have beautiful beach house. Let's just go with that and see what we get. A lot of times you're gonna need to hit the create button again, which is fine. Uh, it's especially not a big deal when you get unlimited content, but a lot of times you're gonna get something and you're gonna say, oh, I like that style much better. See, it's the water's in the background, but that looks much more realistic. I like that one. Very nice beach house right on the sand there. You got that, it looks like the water could be in the background unless that's something else. Once again, great setting there and perfect. So that's an example of houses. How about forest? So we have a forest, dark and stormy, gloomy, and realistic. As you'll notice, like I talked about, a lot of the sceneries are gonna be fantastic. Those are pretty easy for AI to create. Perfect, very dark, very gloomy, very ominous. I really like those. Okay, we can even change it around. Say we wanna do a golf course, something like that, create. I do have a website that focuses on some sports, so I can certainly use golf course images. That would be great for me personally. Excellent. I mean, exactly what we're looking for, golf courses. There's no flag there. It must be uh, under maintenance, okay? Or maybe the flag's over there on that one. Some nice water. You got the uh, kitty litter over there, the sand trap, as I like to call it, the kitty litter. Don't hit it in that. There's the uh, hole on that one. Great. And there's also, you know, pizza. Let's just do mouth-watering pizza. I'm not sure if they're gonna have someone with mouth-watering or it's just gonna be mouth-watering pizza. Could probably just do delicious. I'll do it with it. And realistic, let's say up close. Let's do create. It said Jasper couldn't generate your images. Oops, sometimes this is a blah, blah, blah. I don't think I read it fast enough. I'm just gonna click on create so you can see it again. Sometimes that will come up if it uses like a specific word it doesn't want you to and sometimes it'll work uh restricted sub okay so let's just do delicious now let's do that that's fine let's change around click on create perfect that one does look delicious some basil and pepperoni olives and this is more of like a cartoonish one speaking of that i'd say this one isn't as realistic like the toppings look a little like computer generated which is fine we could do a cartoon, see what comes up with that. Because keep in mind, when you're using stock photography, it doesn't always have to be realistic. Okay, it's doing the same thing. Apparently pizza is triggering a word. It's still in beta, so it, it does have some work to do. Let's do a create again, see what we get. Okay, so apparently I can't use that term. So let's change this around. Let's just do pizza. And let's go to artist style. Let's do artist style and we'll do say like Picasso, how would Picasso do pizza paintings? Let's find out today. 
Okay, there we go. I like that. See, like I said, you don't always have to utilize like the same type of realistic pizza. And let's just do none there and style. Let's do illustration. You can really change things up a lot with the styles, the mediums, the artist, the mood, the keywords. That's going to be up to you. Okay, apparently it's having some trouble with pizza illustrations and cartoons. How about anime? Let's go with anime. Let's give it one more try with pizza. Apparently, uh, Jasper needs some more work with pizza. It's too offensive for it. I understand. Okay, there we go. So hard to really do anime with it, but I can see where it's coming from. And let's do one last one when it comes to freeform. One more idea. Okay, so I have gloomy, dreadful, swamp, rain, and lightning. And of course, we have dark. Let's click on create. Once again, it's another scenery one. All right, these are perfect. Exactly what you think of when it comes to a swamp. Maybe you got like a gator, you know, hanging out over there. Maybe it's just because I live in Florida. And that's what I expect to see when I see swamps. I go, oh, not going under that. It's probably gators in there. Got some lightning in the background on that one. Uh, not too much lightning on the other one, but they do have the, oh, there's some lightning right there. Just completely missed it. It is gloomy. It's dreadful. It's dark. Uh, and that's what we're looking for. So keep in mind that is an alternate use is going to be like a stock photography alternative. You can also really go crazy with it, even though there were some blips when it comes to pizza. Uh, aside from that, you can really change around whether you want to be abstract, a cartoon, illustration. It can be retro, you know, the artist style. Retro is great. I love retro. It always reminds me of like 19. 80s in Miami, that type of like purple, lots of lights, glow sticks, things like that. That's just an example of a style. But I think you get the idea when it comes to getting stock photography from jasper.art. Hope you got some value out of this video. If you want to check out Jasper Art, check out the link in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And that's about it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.